Truth. I'm here with Envy's Apollo, who's off to a great start in 2017 after a dominating week one performance. And at the end of the week, Apollo sits atop the tables with three player of the... Another team and another dominant season for Rainover. This time without Huni. Kai with the solo kill out at FlyQuest with another win. Off the backs of Ryu and Arrow, an amazing early season for Phoenix One. Looper with another huge game pushes Echo Fox into the playoffs. This move is really working out for Team Dignitas. Someday, it's looking better than ever. Thanks, Riv. I'm here with Poe Belter after leading his team to their first ever LCS Finals. For Darshan, the hard work pays off. CLG back on top of the North American LCS once again. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Spring Champions here in Vancouver. Welcome back to opening weekend of the 2017 North American LCS Spring Split here in our brand new battle arena. Plenty of fans have packed in for this very first weekend of the North American LCS. Of course, Competitive League of Legends is underway across the globe right now. However, earlier today, we did see Matt with his new teammates loading in for the first match of the day. Of course, now Rainover on Team Liquid. They're high in FlyQuest, though. They arrived ready to make the team's NALCS debut. Not the debut for many of those players, though. And CLG filing in to prep for their match against Team Liquid. A big day of games today. Hello, everyone. I'm James Dash Patterson. Joining me today is none other than Mark Zimmerman. We invited you back for another year. Yeah, somehow. I don't know why you guys did that. but Look, now I, did that everything in, I did everything in my power to keep you away from here. Yeah, didn't you work. didn't work, and I'm back, and I'm not leaving. I like that, though. All right, all right, here we go. We're moving into the season. A ton of new changes have hit the league, including a brand new studio. As I mentioned earlier, here you can see how many people it takes to put together a production like this, and we have an amazing team of people behind us that make this all possible. And yet somehow you get all the credit. I don't know why it works that way. But I'm doing my best to give some credit to others right yeah. now, Mark. I was actually in the studio last night watching the uh, P1 Echo Fox series, and it looks great, it sounds great, it's just crazy. The fans are going crazy for uh, P1 in particular. There's yep. Uh, the owner like leading all the chants. It was really exciting to be there. Yeah, I love the colors, the nice contrast. Even the blue on blue here in the, in the way it looks more in the arena. One. Also the fact that the players are facing in a little bit more, so it feels a little bit more of like a Kill death someone, match. make some eye contact. Exactly, we got some room for some trash talk and maybe some celebration. Who knows what's coming our way. Let's talk about some of the biggest storylines though moving in on the season. Most of these teams should look familiar to you guys at home with eight returning from last season. Now Team Dignitas returns to the North American LCS after a short hiatus and have merged with Apex while Cloud9 Challenger has joined the league under the FlyQuest banner. Right, and even though you might look at these rosters and see a lot of returning faces and names, there's actually been a lot of turnover behind the scenes as well with a number of Korean coaches coming in to help with the Dignitas team as well as the Korean player imports as well. So there's, there's a lot being tied in there. Yeah, old faces return. These players though have swapped rosters and now play for different teams. Notable ones? Of course, you gotta look at Rainover and Dardock. I think just the fact that they basically swapped organizations is gonna set up a huge clash later in the season when these guys eventually play. But of course, there's just a, a couple switches all over the place, Turtle to TSM, going home. Those kinds of storylines are all great to follow. Right, having to fill double lift shoes here. And then of course, you've got people like Adrian, who's uh, been you know on a number of different teams and found some individual success, still looking for that NALCS title, perhaps. Almost every team has picked up new players and the majority coming in to North America from other re regions. Right? Yeah, and a majority coming into the top lane. I think it's crazy to think that in 2017 we have some of the greatest 
Korean top laners ever to play just taken taking to the stage here in, in NA. It's, it's going to be exciting to see. We got Flame, Looper, Someday, all just monsters in their own right. I mean, I know a lot of people on entry here are saying that Someday could be in contention for best player in the league, you know, up against the likes of Bjergsen. Hasn't even played a game yet, yeah. but that's the kind of pedigree of some of these players coming in from other regions. We do have some fresh North American talent, though, with Acadian, Cody Sun, and Contracts joining the NALCS. What are your thoughts here? I mean, both Acadian and Contracts had their first games last night. They looked really good individually, and that's really nice to see. Of course, only contracts picked up the win. And uh, Cody Sun's going to make his debut today and see if he can follow in the other rookie's shoes. Very much so. Now, before we get into today's action, let's go ahead and check up on the results from last night. Cloud9 bested reigning champions TSM to take home the first victory of 2017. And Phoenix1 was able to defeat Echo Fox to earn a spot at the top of the table. Obviously, not a whole lot has occurred. We're going to have a lot more standings changing at the end of today. They'll soon be joined by other squads competing today, so let's take a look at what's in store. Counter Logic Gaming faces off against Team Liquid on NALCS1 before Echo Fox plays their second match of the split against Immortals later in the day. Envy takes on FlyQuest in the first match on NALCS2, and then the Battle Theater plays host to Team Dignitas and Phoenix1. So we got four big matches today. What are you most excited for? I'm looking forward to Team Liquid versus CLG, mostly because CLG is one of the only people playing today who has most of their lineup return uh, from last season, and they're going to be a good litmus test for a lot of teams over the course of the season, this time being Team Liquid, having gotten rain over, bringing Golden Glue up, um, bringing Piglet back. It's going to be a great test to them to see where exactly they stand, because you know CLG is going to be top half of the split, and that's where you're going to want to end up, so you got to beat them. Kind of grateful that we have at least one team that yeah. has kept their full roster so that we do have a little bit of a bar, a metric for a lot of these roster moves in determining how good any of these teams are, the relative power level here in the new split. Now, with all of that said, it's about time for us to get and do our first couple games of the day, so we're going to send it over to our casters to get us into the match. <laughs> 